there is inconsistent cues. You know, when our nonverbal communication does not match our verbal communication, do you know that studies have shown that we tend to gravitate toward the nonverbal as being true, overriding what a person has said? So it's very important when we're communicating with others that we ensure that we are consistent. You know, and just to validate that point, let me share with you um, this example. Let's just pretend like I made a homemade apple pie. And I put the pie in here for everyone to sample a, a, a piece. I mean, the pie looked lovely. The, the crust was just flaky and buttery and wonderful. Okay, I cut nice pieces for each one of you all. And everybody took a healthy, piece of that pie, you know, for their initial bite. However, I forgot to put the sugar in it. All right, so now, as I'm observing, you know, everybody took that initial bite, healthy bite. However, no one is eating anymore. <laughs> and so I say to you all, well, how's my pie? What would most of you all say? Good. That's good. <laughs> right. But based on what I see, do you think I believe you? No. no. Right. So, again, we're going to talk about how we can tactfully communicate information, even when we feel uncomfortable. So I'm going to ask you all, after I share with you um, this technique, how you can tactfully be honest with me and let me know that what? The pie needs what? Some sugar. Now, if you just said, Michelle, I need mean, this this pie this pie needs some more sugar. Oh, you know, when I receive that, how do you think I might feel? Why did you think why why wouldn't most people just say that? They don't want to hurt their feelings. They don't want to hurt. Okay. All right. So it's important that we connect to others so that what we have to say is um, people become more receptive to hearing it. So that connecting piece is what we're going to be talking about throughout this session and really throughout the day today. You're going to find that if you're able to connect with others before you offer solutions, you're going to be more tactful in your delivery. And people will be more receptive to what you will have to say. So in other words, we're building bridges as opposed to building walls. Okay, you know, Dr. Stephen Covey in The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, he says this, that the deepest need of the human soul is to be validated, appreciated, and understood. Didn't say you had to agree with a person. When we talk about validating, we're talking about acknowledging. And when I talk about acknowledging, at the very least, we've got to connect, okay? Because when we say things to people, you know, we're all emotional creatures, men and women alike. Most of our solutions are found here in the logical realm. Okay? And so when we just go straight to the solution, sometimes when it's received by others, it can be received as what? Abrasive or, uh, you know, not what we want to hear. However, if you connect first, you'll, you'll find that people will be more receptive to what you have to say. All right. Now, with that said, let me say, state this. Now, we all listen to the same radio station. You wake up, you turn it on. I wake up, I turn it on every day. And it's called WIIFM. What's in it for me? And so when you are communicating with others, we have to connect. We have to state something that pulls them into the conversation to get their attention before we state what needs to happen. Okay, and let me just give you a basic, another basic example. Let's just pretend, I share it with you all, I have children. My son, wanted to go outside and play in the snow. His room is a disaster area. So he comes to me and he goes, Mommy, 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 can I go outside and play? And I said, absolutely not. Go upstairs and clean that room. What type of reaction am I going to get from my son? Well, OK. Maybe he'll go up there and he's going to do what he needs, somewhat of cleaning, right? <laughs> now, same scenario. But how I connect with him first and then offer a solution, because the solution is not going to change, it can impact 
the outcome. All right, now listen to this. He comes downstairs and he goes, Mommy, 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 can I go outside and play? You absolutely can as soon as you finish cleaning that room. What did I do? I identified something of value to him, stated that first. So I connected first. Uh, the solution is still the same, but how it's received is quite different in most cases, okay? So when we are when we want to convey information to people, sometimes it may not be the most favorable response. It's important that we employ that connection piece first so that we can be more tactful, so that the person is more receptive 